Well, here we are almost two weeks after Election Day, and they're almost done finally counting the ballots in Clackamas County. But tonight it looks like there's a chance they might have to do the counting all over again. It's 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. What we're talking about here isn't about an issue with the ballots. It's actually about a single race that's coming right down to the wire. Jenny Young joining us live now to break it down for us. Jenny? It is really fascinating watching this race. So we found out that in Oregon, a election must be recounted if the margin is less than two tenths of a percent of that vote total. And in the 38th district primary, it's looking like it will be at least a dozen by a few dozen votes. That is an issue right now because those candidates are separated by just two votes. We've got to show you these numbers. Neelam Gupta and Daniel Wynn by just is ahead of Daniel Wynn by just two votes. Gupta and Wynn in the running, hoping to become the Democratic nominee for state representative in District 38. The winner will face Republican Alistair Furman on the November ballot. It has been two weeks since the primary election, but Clackamas County is still counting votes. It is a big story we've been on top of. Defective barcodes on more than half the county's ballots prevented them from being counted quickly by machine. It's something that has landed County Clerk Sherry Hall in hot water. Hall has been blamed for the slow process by both county and state officials. She has promised that elections workers will finish counting all ballots by this Thursday. That's 11 days before state law requires results to be certified. Now, as of today, elections workers have a little more than 3,600 ballots that must be duplicated by hand due to those barcodes. So Wynn has served on the Lake Oswego City Council since 2018. Gupta serves on the Lake O School Board. I spoke to both of those candidates within the hour, and we are going to uh, have their reaction coming up at 11. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Quinn 6 News.